So the first thing you need to know when creating Amapiano type beats is the range of tempo you need to be in. Now most Amapiano songs typically fall between 110, 111, 112 and even 113 beats per minute. But you can still hear some songs, especially the Afrobeat versions of Amapiano. You can hear them as low as 108, that's 108 and even as high as 115. So since we're trying to make, you know, something closer to Amapiano than Afrobeat, I'm going to right click, type in value. Then 113 or 112 is a very popular tempo for this genre of music. So now we set our tempo and we're going to open up our channel rack so we can drag and drop sounds into it. Okay. Now I recommend you get sounds that are relevant to making Amapiano style beats. It will make it a lot easier for you for producing Amapiano um, style music. So that's why we have our Amapiano drum kit right here. So if I come to Parks and I come right here to Ultimate Amapiano drum kit, it's available on our website. It's very affordable with high quality Amapiano sounds for your production. So we're going to come to, you can start with either rim shots or percussions or even the snares. So I could come to rim shots. So listen to a couple of rim shots. I like this sound. So I'm going to drag and drop right here. I like that sound too. Then drag and drop. Now we have our sounds. Now sometimes when you bring some sounds into FL Studio channel rack, they may have some issues. Although this is not a common issue, but you know, in case if you do face it, it's very easy to fix. Just make sure you click this, make sure you turn off loop points and you click this. Make sure you always right click C5. You should be on C5, turn off loop points and right click C5. Scroll to C5 and then um, we turn off loop points. Okay, so now we have our sounds. Now, this is where it's very important for you to understand. Now, every genre of music has something called the foundation pattern. And if you understand this, you can pretty much get away with making, you know, really high quality and interesting drum patterns without wasting too much time. So what you need to know is, first of all, you click one of your rim shots or percussion or snare. This could be three different rim shots, three different percussions, three different snares, or you could mix it, a rim shot, a percussion, and a snare. You know, it's totally up to you. So we're going to click the very first sound, right? And then we're going to count two steps forward or two steps to the right. So if I count one, two, then I click this. Then I'm going to count another two steps again, and I click this. So now you see we have this sound. Now let me bring in a kick and here I sound going to combine with a kick. I like this kick, so I'm going to use this kick. Then we just want the kick to be black, red, black, red. Or you can just right click and just click fill each four steps. And this is how it sounds. So you, and you don't always have to start from the beginning right here. You can even start from, you know, anywhere really. I can start from here, two steps forward, another two steps again, this is how it sounds. And I can keep, you know, playing around, moving it around. I can do this, two steps, two steps. So you see, you could really try to start from anywhere and get, you know, an interesting pattern. Now let's adjust the volumes because, you know, we don't want it to be too loud. So I'm going to reduce these volumes a little bit. Next, we're going to add some percussions, okay? Pick again, pick some sounds that you like. I like the sound, so I'm going to bring it in here. I like the sound as well. Let me find one more. Yeah, I like the sound. Again, make sure they are all Correct. Okay, this seems to not have any issue. All right, so we're going to clear with that. So next, we're going to try to play just one or two notes in each percussion. Okay, but again, for, don't forget to keep it simple. I could do that.
Damn, let's pick this. Then this. Let's have it here. Let's say something. Okay, this can work, but I think I'll prefer it here. So now let's have our shaker loop. Okay, so I'm going to come right here to percussions. I mean shaker and hat loops. But first, make sure we drag our um, drum loop in here that is our pattern into the playlist if you can't find your playlist just click this right here you should see your playlist and make sure you're in bar mode okay make sure you're in bar mode so let's try this sound they already match to your tempo so you don't need to you know make any adjustments you need to reduce the volume a bit change it to song mode nice you can also add hat loops to make it even more interesting. So now let me also show you a trick that you can do to make your drum pattern even more flexible. You could decide to turn off the rims and you still have a vibe. Or you could turn on one of your rim shots. So you can mix this up and make your drum patterns even more interesting and unique. All right. So following this method, don't forget you need to pay attention to, you know, the choice of sound, the volume, the tempo, especially the tempo. It's important you get the tempo right, get the volumes of the sound right so that you don't have sounds that are clashing or overshadowing all the other elements in the production. Okay, you need, to, you need to try to get a good balance of your sounds, all right? And then always try to keep it as simple as possible because, you know, a piano is a very groovy genre, but at the same time, it's, it's quite simple as well. So we need that space for the groove to come in. Okay, we don't, have, we don't need to have too many elements all over the place because, you know, we're going to have more elements later on in the production with like chords, with other melodies, with, you know, log drums that go crazy, you know, so many stuff are going to come in. So we need to make sure it stays as simple as possible. So this right here is an easy I'm a piano drum pattern. So if you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks. And you can get this drum kit and our my piano course with the link in the description or attached to this video. Or you can also check our website for more helpful Afrobeat and Ama Piano resources that will help you make much better music. Hermes Aklasi once again. Cheers.